so guys this is the rec 831 lora gateway module and it is for 868 megahertz and this comes with uh, this gpi order uh, that can be uh, like used to connect with any sbc like raspberry pi or any other to make a gateway so actually this doesn't fit on top of raspberry pi because the gpi header are not compatible so we need one arbitrary plate for this and this has got like, like raspberry pi compatible gpi header as well as it on the other side it has got the 831 module compatible gpi header and along with that it has also got one gps module which will provide timing information to the gateway and again over here the 831 module comes with these leds over here which are used to show status and all so we i'm just going to connect it to a raspberry pi 2 module but if you are having like raspberry pi 0 or any other board you can connect it without any issue again it uh, the raspberry pi whatever you are going to use must have one networking interface because you are going to push data out of the gateway model straight to the internet so make sure you have internet connection to your raspberry pi whichever version you are using it might be like you can go for wireless or wired no issue with that so i'm just going to connect everything and we'll get into system and we'll like download the os required for it and we'll set it up further Now after putting the adapter board to the Pi, make sure you connect the GPS PPS input. Okay, before that I need to put the spaces. Now after this, we are just going to connect the LoRa antenna. So after this, we just need to connect the GPS antenna. Over here, make sure you connect the LoRa antenna before powering up the Raspberry Pi. So here comes the GPS antenna input. I just connect it over here. Yep. So I have connected the GPS antenna as well as the LoRa antenna along with the Rack 831 module. So basically that's it with uh, like hardware connections and all. I am just going to download the Raspbian Lite version and we will flash it and we will put it over here for the, for the setup. So over here I am at the raspberrypi.org website and I am going to download the Raspbian Stretch Lite version. So just go ahead and click on download chip link over here and it is about 350 MB so it might take a bit of time. So let's just wait for it. Okay guys the download is done and over here I am having the file and that is around 350 MB and I have just plugged in the SD card and I am going to use Itcher to flash the OS to the SD card. Again, you can use any of this software like in 32 Dix image and all, but I'll go ahead with this one only. So click on downloads or wherever you have downloaded, select the light zip file. Again, if you're using each you don't need to extract it, straight away it takes the zip file. So yeah, I'll do the 4 GB SD card. Now click on flash. Okay, it might take a bit of time so let's just wait for it okay now the flashing is done just close it Okay, so I'm just going to plug in the SD card uh, right over here and plug in the Ethernet cable so that I'll be accessing it by using SSH 
from my local network. I just let's power it up and we'll get back to the PC. Now after the Pi has been turned on, I am going to find out the IP that has been taken by the Raspberry Pi and for that I am using one IP scanner software but you can do it with your router or you can use Nmap or something like that. So I will just quickly get the IP address taken by my Pi then we will be using that IP address to have SSH connection to the Pi. Over here you can see it has found a new Raspberry Pi that is having 109 because 14 is already actually I'm using and you can simply find out by either checking out the manufacturer name or you can simply find out by looking at the MAC address. Raspberry Pi usually starts with B827EB. So let's go ahead and note down the IP address and I'm going to make SSS to it. Now, just on the name that is by password is the default one, Raspberry. Now, over here, first let's update the Pi. To do that, I'm going to use the command to do update. update. Okay, it is trying to fail. Ah, okay, it is not able to find it. So, okay, I'll change it to static IP because my network works on static IP. So, just do it. Along with that, I'm just going into Raspi config to enable the SPI communication. Interfacing SPI, yes, okay. Then anything else? Operation, I'll change. the time zone it is here then it is Kolkata. Yeah. now click on finish and reboot the file Okay guys, I changed my network setting and we are up. So let's do an update. The command. So do I update? Update. It might take some time. Let's just wait for it. Now, if you have not installed Git earlier, you can install Git. But over here, I have already installed. So Git will be required to clone the repository that will hold all the that holds all the driver and all required for the gateway. And it is by TTN Zurich and the repository name is IC8080 A Gateway. And I have given the link down below in the description. So just go ahead and copy the repository URL. And over here, I'm just going to use the command get clone that is branch, and we are going to clone the SPI branch. So make sure you use this because this module we are using is having SPI interface. Actually, the main repository is for USB based concentrators. So I just do this and copy the link. Okay, now navigate to the download folder. Yeah, 
now we are uh, i'm just going to modify the start.h file to work with the rack 81 module so let's go to it writing command sudo nano start.sh and over here you can see that sx1301 reset pin is configured as uh, like 25 number gp is configured as reset pin but the adapter plate that we are using is using pin number 17 for reset so just change it and save it now we can go ahead with the command sudo install dot sh so, okay. here now over here we just need to make sure copy this device uu file i just copy this this will be used by ttn to restore our gateway so make sure to copy this one the gateway e e ui so over here i am not going to use the remote settings so i'll press n but if you want to use the remote settings you can press y so i'm just going ahead with no the host name i am going to give it as ttn gw or simply tgw descriptive name uh, Sorry. Click on contact email. Yep. Latitude, just copy the latitude of my location then longitude altitude is around so 10 in the meantime let's open up the things network and we will try to register our gateway there Just sign up for, for it if you don't have any account. As I have already registered, I'll go with my email ID and all. Now we're getting to console. Click on gateways, register gateway, and over here select I'm using the legacy packet forwarder and paste the UI that you have copied earlier. Put some description. Select the frequency plan over here from in India. It is 865 to 867. I got you. select the router. I'm going to select the TTN router as you see. Then you can put the latitude and longitude of your location. Select the antenna placement and click on register gateway. And uh, if everything okay, over here. Now that's with this uh, you can see over here the gateway is already up and connected and that's it with this video in the next part I will be showing how to connect your node and push some data to the TTN. So that's it for today I hope you have liked this video if so hit the thumbs up button and see you next time with my next video till then goodbye.